Hello everyone and welcome back to another Teen Take and Make. Today we're making some boba tea. Before we get started, I want to bring to your attention one of our e-resources called A to Z World Food. Here you're able to learn a lot about the different foods and cultures of our world. And today we're going to use this resource by searching the map, which is available right on the homepage there. Now I already know that boba tea comes from Taiwan, so you'll see me uh, tapping on the country there. On the home page, after you've selected the countries, a lot of different information about Taiwan and its food and culture. If you click on this navigation button and scroll down a little bit under beverages, because that's kind of what we're interested in today, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's a bit of history about boba tea, which I've made a little bit bigger here. Our supplies today include some hot water, some tapioca balls known as boba, a big mug, a tea bag, a pot, and some sugar. Now the key to baba is to have some very strong tea. So the first thing we're going to do is get our tea steeping using some hot water just out of the kettle here. I am going to cover my tea bag and then I'm going to leave it to steep for about 15 minutes. Waiting for our tea to steep, now is a good time to get working with our tapioca balls. Into a pot of boiling water, you're going to add your boba and give it a gentle stir with what I would suggest using is a slotted spoon. You're going to do this so your boba don't all stick together. This is a delicate balance and you don't want to do it too far in advance of when you're going to use it. Once your boba start floating to the surface, it's time to test one to see if they're done to your liking. If they are, all you need to do is rinse them in some cold water. This step is going to stop the cooking process and prevent them from getting too mushy. Drain your boba balls and add them to the sugar provided. If you'd like an alternative sweetener, try honey or maple syrup. Now, depending on who you are, you might enjoy your boba hot or cold. I enjoy mine cold, so you can see I've added an ice cube to my jar. I'm also only using a clear vessel so you guys can see the different layers. If you're going to do this also, just make sure that it's a heat safe container. You don't want any uh, kitchen accidents to happen. I've placed my boba in the bottom with my ice cube and now I'm just pouring my tea over top. Usually boba is served with some sort of milk product as well. I personally prefer oat milk, so that's what you'll see me use here. But you can use cream or milk or whatever substitute you prefer. Give it a stir and the last thing we need to do is give it a try. I think I'd call that a success. See you guys next week. We want to thank you guys for participating in another one of our virtual programs. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.